Hello and welcome. I'm John, your safety trainer, here with today's lesson about cleanliness and behaviors for construction sites when returning to work after a pandemic. Before we begin, remember to sign off on your mobile device or online to receive credit for this training. If you feel the need to pause this video at any time to have a discussion, we encourage you to do so. During a pandemic, construction companies play a crucial role in helping maintain a city's infrastructure. However, some projects may be delayed or even stopped, as those projects may be deemed as non-essential during a lockdown. In this lesson, we'll go over what you can do before and after your return to the site, cleanliness tips, including what to do if someone on the site appears symptomatic, and behavioral strategies that you can use to help the site function as normally as possible. Whether you continue to work on an active site or are returning to the site after an extended period, cleaning and disinfection procedures should still be followed. This can include the frequent cleaning and disinfection of surfaces and objects, such as doorknobs and handles, bathrooms, including all portable units, ladders, tools, stairway rails, equipment, gang box, tablets or computers, commonly touched surfaces in vehicles or equipment cabs, elevator controls, and any other commonly touched surfaces or objects on the site. It is also worth consideration that used equipment can become highly contaminated with bacteria and viruses, especially in the case of respirators. So after using a respirator or mask, make sure it is properly disinfected and stored or disposed of in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and local laws. It is one thing to clean, but quite another to know the proper solutions to clean with. When cleaning and disinfecting on the job site, it is recommended that you use one of the following. One option is a diluted household bleach solution. Please note that bleach solutions are only effective for about 24 hours, so such solutions should only be made in small amounts or discarded at the end of the day, unless otherwise specified by the manufacturer. Another option may be alcohol solutions with at least 70% alcohol, or you can use an EPA-registered disinfectant, such as wipes or aerosol disinfectants. Working in close proximity of coworkers, especially after a pandemic, can sometimes be a cautious endeavor. What if someone is showing symptoms? What should you do if you suspect that someone is infected? If someone on the job site has tested positive or shown symptoms, it is recommended that you close off or block off the area visited by the ill or potentially ill person. When it is possible, open outside doors and windows to ventilate. Hey everyone, if you just watched this video and are thinking, how do I get more of these videos? Click on this link or go to gotsafety.com and we'll show you how you can digitally sign and record employee training records, build custom forms, or even access your OSHA documentation. Go to GotSafety.com right now or call 1-800-734-3574 for more information.